And which Nathan Detroit would that be? Oh, the Nathan Detroit that's been running a floating crap game around here, getting away with the two by switching his spot every night. And why are you telling us this, uh, Your Honor? I'm only telling you because I know you two bums work for him. Uh, we do? Yeah. Uh, oh. And you can tell him this morning. I know right now he's running around trying to find a spot for his crap game. But no one's going to give him a spot. Because everyone knows Granny is breathing down there. Hey, Nathan! Oh, well, I'm having a terrible trouble. Everybody's scared on account of that lousy brand again, and I can't... wrong, Mr. Detroit? Oh, hello, Lieutenant. I hope you didn't think I was talking about you, or our other lousy brand again. <laughs> sure. I've just been speaking with your colleagues, and from what I can tell, you're trying to find a spot for your crap game. Well, the heat is on, as you must know from the fact that you now have to live on your salary. <laughs> Nathan, you want to play the game? What does that cop want from me? What am I, a sex maniac? I merely run a crap game for the convenience of those who want a little action, but in return for which I take a small cut. Now, is that such a crime? Yeah. Nathan, did you find a place? Did you find a place? Come on. Did I find a place? Did I find a... Yes, I found a place. We're holding the game tomorrow night in the Radio City Music Hall. <laughs> but how are we going to fix the ushers? <laughs> <laughs> I tried all the regular places, the back of the cigar store, the funeral parlor. Hey, Nathan, you said there might be a chance in the Biltmore Garage. Yeah, I went over to the Biltmore Garage, spoke to Joey Biltmore himself, and he says he might take the chance and let me use the place if I give him a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? And cash, he won't take my marker. The marker's no good, huh? What do you mean? My marker's no good. A marker ain't just a piece of paper that says I owe you 1,000 bucks signed Nathan Detroit. A marker's like a flag, which a guy can't welch on. It's like not saluting a flag. My marker's good as gold. Only Joey Biltmore don't seem to think so. It don't seem possible. Me, without a livelihood? Well, I've been running the, juvenile, the crack game ever since I was a juvenile delinquent. Nathan, can't you do something? What can I do? I'm broke. I couldn't even buy Adelaide a present today. Do you know what day it is? Today is mine and Adelaide's 14th anniversary. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, we've been engaged 14 years. <laughs> Nathan, concentrate on the game. The town is up to here with high players. The Greeks in town. Freddy's out of peace. Grand Slim. I know, I can make a fortune, but where to have the game?
Go not worry. Nathan the choice crafting will float again. My boys will let you know where it is. Scott Masterson? Well, there's the highest player of the ball. Higher than the Greek? Higher than anybody. Why do you think they call him Sky? That's how high he bets. I once saw him bet $5,000 on a cockroach. At another time, if he was sick, he wouldn't take penicillin on account he had 10 G's, so his temperature would go to 104. Well, did it? Did it? He's so lucky he went to 106. Oh, Sky. Oh, maybe you can borrow the thousand from Sky. Yeah, not with him. With him, that kind of money is lending money. It's a betting money. So why don't I bet him? Why don't I bet him a thousand on something? You would bet with Sky Masterson? Sure, I ain't scared, providing I can figure out a bet with there's no chance of losing. He likes crazy bets, like a witch or a lump of sugar with a fly land on it. How far can you take a piece of cheesecake? Cheesecake, that's it. Run into Mindy's restaurant and ask Mindy how many pieces of cheesecake you sold yesterday and how many pieces of strudel. Uh, cheesecake strudel, what do you want to know for? Uh, just find out. Now, Mindy, here comes Adelaide. If she finds out I'm running a pack game, she'll never set foot on me again. Oh, hello, Nathan. Adelaide, take it. You go ahead, girls. Order me a tuna fish on rye, a chocolate sundae with tomato ketchup and mayonnaise. What did you say to him? I told him, I says, I'll meet whoever I want. Well, don't get yourself upset. But how's your phone? It's better, thank you. Nathan, happy anniversary. A present? For me? I hope you like it. It's a belt. Read the card. The sugar is sweet and so is jelly, so put this belt around your belly. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> Let's look, Adelaide, about your present. I was going to get you the, the diamond wristwatch with the gold band and the two rubies on the Nathan, side. you shouldn't have! It's all right, I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I kind of like it when you forget to get me presents. It makes me feel like we're already married. <laughs> Don't worry. One of these days, I'll be in the money, and you'll have more me than I'll make. Nathan, I can do with just about anything, so long as you don't start running your crap game again. <laughs> the crap game? I'm so thought. <laughs> Nathan, 1,200 cheesecake, 1,500 strudel, huh? Yesterday, maybe so 1,200 cheesecake and 1,500 strudel. More strudel than cheesecake, that's great. Nathan, what's this? Nothing, honey. Hey, any news yet? Not yet, Harry, I'll let you know. Okay, Detroit. What was that about? His, uh, his wife's having a baby. <laughs> Why is he asking you? It's his first wife, he's nervous. Oh, I know, honey, I'm expecting a fellow, I don't know, you're hungry. Nathan, are you no, no, I just bought your sandwich to get soggy. Yeah. Oh, fellas, why don't you take out the way across the street? <laughs> Got a fold, it's all the way at the drugstore. There's, there's a lot of open manholes around. Nathan, you are just the sweetest and most thoughtful person that ever walked on this earth. I love you so much. Come on! <laughs> hey, hey, master, how are you, this guy? Ah, uh, Nathan, you won't promote you. How are you doing? You look great. Ah, uh, feel great, Nathan. Just been two weeks out west of Nevada. Great, great place. Beautiful singer, helpful planet. Even for 50 G's of blackjack. 50 G's? Hey, you gonna be in town long? Oh, no, I'm leaving for Havana tomorrow. Wow. Oh. Havana? Yeah, there's a lot of action down there. You wanna come with me? Nah, uh, nah, I got some things to take care of around here. Uh, meanwhile, you wanna go into Mindy's restaurant to get a piece of cheesecake? They sell a lot of cheesecake. Uh, no, I'm not hungry right now. Uh, tell me, how's that about you? Oh, fine, still dancing at the hot box. I suppose one of these days we'll be getting married? Well, we all gotta go sometime. <laughs> yeah, but Nathan. Guys like us, we can fight it. A guy must always remember that as pleasant as a doll's company may be, she must always take second days back to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you hungry yet? You want to go into Mindy's for a piece of cheesecake or strudel or something? <laughs> nah, I think I'm going to get the late results. Oh, but you will admit that Mindy sells the greatest cheesecake in the country. Uh, yeah, I'm quite partial to Mindy's cheesecake. And yet, there are some who prefer Mindy's strudel. Offhand, which do you think he sells more of? The cheesecake or the strudel? Well, I never really gave it much thought, but I suppose is, if everyone's like I am, then he probably sells more cheesecake than he does strudel. For how much? Huh? For how much? Nathan, I never knew you to be the 
betting type of guy. I always thought you took your percentage off the top. Well, for old times' sake, I thought I'd give you a little action. Nathan, let me tell you a story. Oh? When I was a young man about to go out into the world, my father says to me a very valuable thing. He says to me, son, the old man says, one day in your travels, a man is going to come to you. He's going to show you a brand new deck of cards, which the seal is not yet broken. Now, son, this man is going to often bet you. He can make the jack of spades jump from the bottom of the deck to the top of the deck and it's worth cider in here. Now, son, do not bet this man. For as sure as you stand there, you will wind up with an earful of cider. Nathan, I do not suppose you've been clocking me these cheesecakes. You don't think that. But if you're really looking for some action, I will bet you the same thousand. You do not know the color of the necktie you have on today. <laughs> well, no bet. <laughs> Blue, what a crazy color. <laughs> Ah, uh, hey, I'm on you fellas. Not bad. Nicely, nicely. <laughs> we took Adelaide to the truck store. She says for you to be sure to figure out after the show at the hot box and don't be late. Yes, dear. <laughs> yes, dear. That's husband talk if I ever heard it. Nathan, you're trapped. And a girl like Adelaide, you have those type of dogs that's most difficult to unload. But I don't want to unload with Adelaide. I, I love Adelaide, of the size. A guy without a doll, well, if a guy does not have a doll, then, then who would yell at him? A doll is a necessity. Nathan, I'm not putting the rap on doll. I'm just saying that a guy should have them around when he wants them. They are easy to find. I'm not dolls like Adelaide. Nathan, figuring away for age, all dolls are the same. Yeah? Yeah. Well, then how come you ain't got a doll? How come you're going to Havana without one? Well, uh, I like to travel light. <laughs> Besides, if I wanted to take a doll to Havana, I could get one easily. There's a large assortment available. Not real high class dolls. Any doll, you name her. Any doll, and I name her. Will you bet on that? Will you bet a thousand dollars that if I name her, you'll take her to Havana tomorrow? You got a bet. Two of our pamphlets I think you should read. They will give you a great deal of comfort. Thank you. And we will be holding a prayer meeting on mid at midnight on Thursday, which I'm sure you will wish to attend. I'm sure. 
to Miss Sarah. I hope you do not think I'm getting out of line, but I think it's so wonderful to see such a beautiful doll. I mean, a nice looking lady like you sacrificing herself for the sake of others, staying here in this place all the time. Do you ever go anyplace else? Uh, travel or something? I would like to go to Africa. Oh, Africa. It's a little far, but uh, there are a bunch of great places. Just a couple hours of, from New York by plane, you've been in the plane. No. Oh, it's wonderful. Here's another pamphlet I think you should read. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, I won't need a lot of personal help from you. My heart is as black as to be down a little I will be speaking at Thursday's prayer meeting. I will need private lessons. Maybe we get a dinner or something? I think not, Mr. Masterson. Sorry, just blossoming under the warmth of your kindness. Uh, hey, that's wrong. What's wrong? That's not Proverbs, it's Isaiah. It's Proverbs. Sorry, no peace unto the wicked. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 22. Isaiah? Isaiah. You see, there have been two things in every hotel room in the country. Sky Masterson and the Gideon Bible. <laughs> I must have read the good book 10 or 12 times now. You've read the Bible 12 times? Well, yeah, what's wrong with the Bible? Of course, in my line of work, the most mysterious information does come in handy. I once won five jeans on a parlay, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Masterson, why are you here? Well, I told you I'm a sinner. You're lying. Well, lying's a sin. Okay, look, I'm a big sinner. But if you get me and take the five, the others will follow. And you need sinners, don't you? We are managing. Let's be honest, Sarge. This mission is laying an egg. Why don't you let me help you? I bet I could fill this place with sinners. I don't bet. Okay, well, how about a proposition? When is this big meeting of yours? Thursday? <laughs> I will guarantee you that I can fill this place with one dozen genuine sinners. I will also guarantee that they will sit still and listen to you. And what's my end of the bargain? Have dinner with me. Why would you want to have dinner with me? Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Here. What's this? Guy Masterson's marker for 12 centers. If you don't think it's good, ask anyone in town. I owe you one dozen centers. I will pick you up at noon tomorrow for dinner. At noon? Oh well, yeah, it's going to take you some time to get there. To get where? To my favorite restaurant. Where is that? Oh, Cafe Cabana in Havana. Oh, Cafe Cubana, Havana. Well, where do you want to eat? Howard Johnson's? Havana? Well, what's wrong with that, though? The plane gets us there in five hours back the same night, and the food is great. Now realize, Mr. Masterson, that when you were describing the blackness of your heart, you did not do yourself justice. And I now realize, Sister Sarah, that no matter how beautiful the sergeant may be, she's still a little sergeant. Please go away. Why don't you change your pitch, Sarge? Ooh, come to the mission, one and all. Except guys. I hate guys. I don't hate anybody. Except for me. Of course, I'm glad it's just me that you hate, not every guy out there. It's nice to know that somewhere out in the world there's a guy that might appeal to the sergeant. I wonder what this guy would be like. He will not be a gambler. I'm not interested in what he will not be. I'm interested in what he will be. Don't worry. I'll know. For I imagined every bit of him from his strong
a guy or a horse. I wouldn't expect a gambler to understand. Well, would you like to hear how the gambler feels about the big heart problem? No. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> My mom is a surprise to me. My, I leave to chance and chemistry. Chemistry? Yeah, chemistry. <laughs>
Bill Moore. Hello, Nathan Diaz. Hello, hi, Nate. <laughs> How is Sam, though? Hi, what have you got there? A book. A book? Always reading books. You're becoming a regular bookie. Nathan, this is very interesting. <laughs> the doctor gave it to me. I went to him about my cold. How is your cold? Oh, it's the same. So he asked me how long I've had it, and I told him a long time. And I told him I thought it might be on my account of dancing with hardly any clothes on, which is what I usually wear. So he said to read this, because he thought it might be due to psychology. You haven't got that, have you? This is the type of psychology that tells you why girls do certain kinds of things. Oh, well, or would it tell you if a certain doll would go for a certain guy? Would you, what do you think he would do with What do you mean? Well, I'm just, for instance, you could almost pet that certain dolls wouldn't go for certain guys. Nathan, no matter how terrible a fella seems, you can never be sure some girl won't go for him. Take us! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nathan, darling, starting next week, I'm going to be getting a raise. So with what I'll be making, I was wondering maybe we could finally get married? Of course we'll get married sooner or later. I know, Nathan. <laughs> worry about my mother. What about your mother? Well, hey, then this is something I've never told you before, but my mother, back in Rhode Island, she thinks we're married already. Why would she think a thing like that? I couldn't be engaged for 14 years, could I? People don't do that in Rhode Island. They all get married. Well, then why is it such a small state? <laughs> anyway, I wrote her I was married. You did, huh? Uh-huh. And after about two years... What, after about two years? We had a baby. You told your mother we had a baby? I had to, Nathan. She wouldn't have understood if we hadn't. What type baby was it? A boy. I named it after you, Nathan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, where is Nathan Jr. supposed to be now? He's in boarding school. I wish mother who won the football game last Saturday. Oh, I wish I would have bet on it. But Nathan, <laughs> that's not all, Nathan. Oh, don't tell me he has a little sister. Oh, those years, Nathan. Mother believes in big families. Just give me the grand total. Bye. <laughs> Your mother must be a glutton for punishment. Anyway, Nathan, we're getting married now. It won't be a lie anymore. How could you do such a thing to a nice old broad like your mother? But you don't even know my mother. But I'm going to meet her soon, and then what'll I tell her? What'll I tell her I did with the kids? Just trade them off to the Phillies or something? <laughs> what are we going to do? We could get married. <laughs> marriage ain't something you jump into like a kettle of fish. We ain't ready. I'm ready, Nathan. What do you think I got in this box? Nathan, what's in this box? Sally's wedding shop. I couldn't guess. It's a wedding veil. I've had it for three years. I won't show it to you because it's bad luck. Would you like to see it? It's bad luck! <laughs> you see, Nathan, we've got the veil. Now all we need is our license and our blood test. Our what? Blood test. It's the law. Oh, what a city. First, they close my crack game, and then they open my veins. Nathan, you're not planning on running your crack game again, are you? No, no, no. Why do you think I gave up the crack game? It's because I love you, and I want us to be the happiest married couple there is in the world. Has anyone seen an earring out here? I don't think so. You! I'm all dating up tomorrow with Society Max, and they bring it on the academy. You're a stupid crack! We love each other. We're gonna get married. I don't believe you anymore. Oh, come on, you'll feel better tomorrow. Let's see that old smile. There it is. See you tomorrow.
but spend many good money that the guys only do it for some job. When you see a joke, save it half of this joke. You can bet they'll be making it for some job. Why not buy one like a fucking fool? When you need a mug, lately out of the jug, and he's still lifting platinum for the roll. Call it hell, call it heaven, it's probably well to seven that the guys will leave you in for some time. When you see a sport and his cash is run short, make a bet that he's banking it with some dough. Why not die with tails with drunk fucking and white? Who the hell do you think he's taking the pills from Saturday night? When a lazy slug takes a good steady job and he smells from White House and Barbara Saw. Call it dumb, call it clever, I'll drink beer bars forever. start lunch. I was going to convert Broadway all by myself. I was going to have them just begging to come to the mission. General Cartwright. Good morning, Sarah. Arby. Good morning, General. I didn't know you were going to be in town. I got in early this morning. I spent the last hour trying to find you. I'm so sorry. We've been holding some extra street meetings trying to stimulate some more interest. Good morning, General. Good morning. Sarah, there's something I need to talk to you about. Won't you stay and have some lunch with us? No, I have several other important things to attend to. Sarah, we at headquarters have come to a definite conclusion. We have decided to close this branch of the mission. No! Close the mission? Sarah, there are so many calls on us. So many places that really need our help. But we're doing much better. Yeah, we have a big meeting planned for Thursday night. So you plan to meet it. But will anyone be here? Will anyone come? Excuse me, I could not help but hearing. General, my name is Sky Masterson, former senator. How do you do? How do you do? See, I wish to protest the closing of this mission. I believe Miss Sarah Brown will be a big success here. I'm glad you think so, but I'm not so certain. Well, a dollar will get you ten. What? Uh, General, I'm trying to make a suggestion. Go ahead. Why don't you come to the meeting on Thursday and see for yourself? Don't you think that would be a good idea? Well, if I thought the mission had a chance... General, I personally guarantee you one dozen genuine sinners. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> Garage? 
But not yet. You gotta stall him for a while. Joey wants his dough first. Mason, it's 11 o'clock. It won't stick around much longer. So, so me. I left nicely at the hotel to wait for the money from Sky. It'll be there. Where's the dough? It uh, hasn't come yet. I told you to wait for it. I had to get some groceries. I felt a little faint. Get back to the hotel and wait for the money from Sky, and don't come back here without it. I don't care if you're starved to death. Okay, Nathan. Where's the game, Detroit? Hey, Harry the Horse. How's everything in Brooklyn? Detroit, if you don't have a place for your game, tell us, and we'll see you for the day. Take it easy, Harry. Detroit, I, I hope you won't spoil the evening. As much as I happen to be entertaining a very prominent guest tonight, I think you may have heard of him. Allow me to introduce Big Joe. Oh, how do you do? Uh, welcome to our fair city, where, as you know, the heat is on, but just be a little patient and we'll get some action. What do you say, Big Joe? Shall we stick around or shall we blow? Well, I came here to shoot crap, so let's shoot some crap. Yeah, sure, sure. Hey, if there is no crap game tonight, Big Julie will be considerably displeased. If Big Julie does not like to be displeased, as you can find out from those citizens who at one time or another displeased him. Although I'll admit, it's very of the five citizens in light of the fact that they're no longer uh, around and about. Now, Harry, do you really think I'd be so rude to displease a gentleman like Big Julie? Big Julie, believe me when I tell you that when Nathan did when when Nathan Detroit arranges something, you can count on it. Well, well. Interesting gathering indeed. The cream of society. Angie Ox, Society Max, Rusty Charlie, Harry the Horse, all the way from Brooklyn and Pardon me. I'm very bad with names. Come but you look familiar. Mind telling me where you're from? East Cicero, Illinois. Oh, and what do you do there? I'm a scoutmaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't ever help my mother cross the street. Oh, this looks like the male chorus from Blossom Time. <laughs> What's the occasion? Oh, well, uh, we are. Uh, it's a party. Indeed. Yeah. What kind of party? Goodbye, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, that's good enough. Nathan's getting married. What? That is correct, Lieutenant. It's a bachelor dinner. Nathan's getting married. Yes, sir. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody cannot deny. Nathan, I'm so thrilled. Why didn't you tell me? It was a surprise. <laughs> but I saw you standing here with all these fine gentlemen. I never dreamed it was a bachelor dinner. I thought it was oh, a it's a bachelor dinner. It's a bachelor dinner. Yes, sir, we're a bachelor dinner. Tell me, Nathan, when is the happy day? When will it be, Nathan? Well, uh, well, I'm... Um, oh, Nathan, these guys were nice enough to put on a bachelor dinner for you. The least you could do was give them a wedding day. Uh, well, uh, we need time for a license and a blood test. Gee, what if you want to put me to get married tomorrow night? Right after the hot box show. Uh, Lady, we need time for a license. You could eat low. What? And drive down to Maryland. What's the name of that town? Uh, Pimlico. No, no. Elton, you can drive down there. They don't even ask for a blood test. Ain't that on help? Nathan, that's a great <laughs> idea. Hello. I'll lend you my getaway car. My Buick. Yeah. Oh, Nathan, let's do it. Oh, what the hell? My congratulations to you, too, Nathan. I only hope there's nothing in the red. Nathan, I've got so many things to do before the show tomorrow night. You'll be there, right? I'll have the table reserved and be dressed up in whatever you'll open. I'm so thrilled. Well, I ought to wire my mother. Only while well, I wire her. Send a telegram and take it back. I'll well, just wait till we have five kids. It won't take us that long. Nathan, <laughs> you are a lucky fellow. A most beautiful doll indeed. Don't you agree, Big Julie? Yeah. How long have you known your doll, by the way? Fourteen years. Uh, well, let's shoot some crap. Nathan, we've got to find a place for the game. What can I do? The money from Sky ain't coming yet. Maybe it isn't coming. Maybe he took it to Havana. Or he couldn't have taken her. She couldn't have gone. It couldn't have. <laughs> Thank you. 
find out. <laughs> What did you call them? Don't say leche. What's in it besides milk?
hurry if you want to catch the plane back to New York. But I don't want to go back to New York. I'm taking you back. Well, you're no gentleman. Look, when a doll like you doesn't belong with a guy like me, it's no good. I'm no good. The whole reason you met me in the first place is I made a bet. The whole reason I took you to Havana is because of a bet. Well, how else would a girl get to meet a gambler? <laughs> no. I gotta think what's best for you. Talk just like a missionary. <laughs> You behaved very badly. No, no, you were fine. Gee, I don't know how I'm gonna ever get home with all this stuff. It was so nice of you all to keep it to me. Oh, hello, Sky. Oh, you miss that lady. Oh, fine, Sky. Look, the girls just went to an all night drugstore and surprised me with a kitchen shower. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, you met Miss Sarah. How do you do? Nice to meet you. You know, Sky, we're looking tomorrow night, right after the hot box show, Nathan and I. Oh, good luck to you both. Thank you. You guys feel like a housewife already. I'm gonna love being in the kitchen. I've tried all the other rooms. <laughs> 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 Miss Adelaide sure seems very happy. She's in love. Yeah, I guess so. What time is it? I don't know, four o'clock. This is your time of day, isn't it? I've never been up this late before. How do you like it? So peaceful. Finding out something I've known for a very long time.
I've been to Cuba. You're more tired than I. Did I? Will I see you tomorrow? Everyone is welcome to the mission. That's not what I mean. It's no good. You said it yourself, Sky. It's no good. Why not? What the hell kind of doll are you anyway? I'm a mission doll.
It will be very clear. I just, I just want to get out of here, just to go someplace where... Where the sinners are all respected and well behaved. You saw what happened last night. They gambled in our mission. And so many that we prayed there. Even man like Scott Masterson. He came seeking refuge. He came seeking me. Did you know that? Are you kidding? I knew from the moment he started picking on me. What I didn't know was that you were going to get so stuck on him. I'll get over it. What do you want to get over it for? It isn't pneumonia. The man I love will not be a gambler. But if you love him enough, he will not be a gambler. Sarah, dear, I've always taken care of you. Velvet, I could wish you all the color. Thank you. 
And if I lose? You'll give him cash. Well, I mean, Garrett, from Big Joe. You will give me cash. Well, now I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> but here's my manga. Well, what you thought? Is anything wrong? No, no, I owe you $1,000 signed X. What, you can write a thousand, but you can't even sign your own name? Well, I'm just going to write the tick, but I spoke in English. Well, that's a foot to hard for though. Now, I'll be rolling for a thousand. And to change my luck, I'll be using my own dice. Your own dice? Yeah. I have a name made with me, especially in Chicago. But, Big Julie, you cannot interpolate Chicago dice in a New York practice. <laughs> it's, uh, British etiquette. Yeah, we'll show you what it says that in Emily Post. Now, I don't think it's in Peggy, but may I have a look at these dice? But these dice ain't got no spots on them. They're blank. What is this? Yeah, the spots take off the luck. But I don't really remember what the spots were. So you're gonna roll blank dice and call them from remembering where the spots formerly was? And why not? I see no reason. Mm. <laughs> huh. A five out of five. Five points, ten. Well, I still got a chance. On against you. I guess you fall on his enemy. <laughs> a six and a four. A six and a four? Yeah. Which is the six and which is the four? Well, evil way. Now, I'm shooting for two G's. <laughs> oh, I just remembered. I'm gonna open Adelaide's bag. I gotta go get her at the hot box. Get up the two G's. Why don't you let some of the other chaps in on the fun? Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Look, I'm going through a sheet. Two G's. So put it up there. Twice as accurate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I'll see you around later. 
Okay, Scott. About the event business, I regret I temporarily do not have the 1,000 pages. You don't have to pay me. You won. But I thought you took my Sarah to a van. Don't wrong. All right, big Julie, get up. I now have the dough to roll you, but with my own dice. Ain't nothing going. With those dice, you're going to make a pass to save his soul. What did you just say? I said, with those dice, you cannot make a pass to save his soul. Well, maybe, maybe I can make a pass to save his And yours, and yours, and his. Give me the dice. I'm going to roll. A thousand dollars against your soul, okay? A thousand dollars against the market for your souls. If I win, you each got to show up at the Save the Soul mission tonight. Is that okay? <laughs> so let me get this straight. If you lose, you each get a thousand bucks. But if you win, they're going to show up at the Mission Dollars Cabaret. You show up at the Save the Soul mission. One meeting. Sounds all right by me. Me too. Come on, Nathan, you too. A thousand dollars against your soul. I don't even know if I got one. You got one somewhere. All right, how do you spell soul? Uh, S-O- All right, enough, enough. Put your marks down. <laughs> Give me room. But I got a little more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very young lady like way of running out. You're on this date with me. The pickings have been lush, and yet before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners. You might refuse to stay. And so the best that I can do is pray. Love me a lady tonight. Love me be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with Luck be a lady tonight Luck let a gentleman see How nice a name you can be I know the way you treated other guys you've been with Luck be a lady with me A lady doesn't leave her course is it fair? Party polite, never get out of my sight.